Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com, ElectronicLessons.com, and PaintballProps.com. This is the third tutorial video for my current Kickstarter campaign, the Arduino uh, prototyping board, the proto board. Uh, I'm making a series of videos that talk about uh, how to use it, uh, some Arduino code, uh, some options. Uh, we're going to talk about the, the uh, connections for this video. What this is, this is a noise detector circuit. And uh, after this video, this is a kind of a two-part video as well. We're going to... Uh, make a clap on clap off circuit uh, but this is just a noise detector so let me just show you noise detected and you can calibrate uh, how much noise is necessary to activate it let's just do another one uh, it's very easy to make and go through the connections in just a second um, if you haven't watched the first two videos I highly suggest you do because we've already talked about the analog to digital converter on the uh, atmega 328PU and how to use it those videos are linked below, and uh, if you pledge to the Kickstarter campaign, you will uh, you will be offered all of these uh, code samples. Uh, in any case, let's just uh, let's do it one more time, and let's talk about the wire up. We've got a 10k ohm resistor, a fixed 10k ohm resistor, connected to the 5 volt line uh, in series with an electret microphone. The positive of the microphone is connected to the 10k ohm resistor, and the negative is connected to ground. Now. Uh, this circuit on its own won't do anything, but what we can do is we can use a, a coupling capacitor, a 0.1 microfarad ceramic capacitor, to couple across uh, AC signals relative to the noise that the electric microphone detects. Now that capacitor also acts to block the DC element on the left-hand side of the circuit. It will only couple across uh, pulses relative to the sound that the microphone has heard. And on the right side of the 0.1 microfarad ceramic capacitor, we've got a bleeder resistor of 47k ohms. Now what this does, it ensures that the A1 line, the A1 analog to digital converter pin on the Atmega 328PU, uh, doesn't have any ambient uh, power on that line because uh, without that bleeder resistor, the A1 line will get weird uh, weird elements. It will basically just uh, always read a higher voltage. So we want to keep the A1 line clear of um, ambient power and bleed ambient power off with 47k ohm resistor. Only when sound is, is uh, detected by the electric microphone will a signal be coupled across successfully the C1 uh, capacitor to the A1 line. And we're going to use the A1 line to determine when noise has been detected. The connections are similar to our last videos, which again are um, can be found below. Uh, we've got the top of the 10k ohm resistor connected to the 5 volt line on the proto box. We've got the two ground connections from the mic and the 47k ohm resistor connected together to the ground um, to the ground rail on the proto box. We've got uh, pins 4 connected to RS, 5 to E, 6 to D4, 7 to D5, 8 to D6, and 9 to D7 on our LCD connector. And uh, we've got the coupled signal and the 447k ohm resistor line connected to the A1 pin. So anytime we make a loud sound, the electric microphone couples that signal across the 0.1 microfarad capacitor to directly to the A1 line. Now, once we've done this, our circuit is complete. We just upload the code, place our chip into the socket on the upper left, and we're ready to go. The code here is fairly simple. The first thing we do is import our uh, LCD library, liquidcrystal.h, and this will allow for us to easily use our uh, LCD. Now there's a lot of commented out data here that tells you what's going on and how to connect an LCD on your own. Uh, we declare pins 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 from our Arduino to drive the LCD, uh, which res uh, respectively drive RS, E, D4, D5, D6, and D7. Next, we define our LED. Now, we're not going to be using our LED in this project, but we'll be using it in our next project. Um, and we might as well declare it now because this is a two-part video. Next, we'll be talking about a clap-on, clap-off circuit. Next, we're going to we're going to create uh, an integer result, and we're going to start it off as, at a value of zero. Next is our void setup. We're going to use the LCD begin 1602 command, which uh, sets up our LCD to work at 16 characters per line and two lines, upper and downer. Uh, LCD clear clears the LCD. We'll have a delay of 200 milliseconds. And next, we'll declare our uh, LED one as an output using the pinmo declaration. Next, onto the void loop. 
this void loop is going to loop over and over and over again. Uh, the results equals analog read one command means that um, the Arduino takes a sample off the A1 line and takes that result and puts it into into the result uh, integer. Next it clears the LCD. If the result equals more than three from the ADC, then we skip on to the next part. If not, we go back to the beginning of void loop and take another sample and place it in result. If the result is higher than three, we uh, set the cursor to the upper left of the LCD and print uh, noise on the first line. Then we set the cursor to the lower left hand line and print detected. Then wait three seconds and go back to the beginning of void loop where another result is, is uh, taken from the A1 line, placed into the result integer, the LCD is cleared, and we take another and we do another if statement. Uh, now, if you want to make sensitivity lower, you make the result value, or you make the comparison on the result on the if line lower, so one or two. If you want to make the sensitivity lower, you make that value higher, say four or five or six, or even seven, eight or nine if you'd like. You can calibrate that voltage, or sorry, that sensitivity easily just by changing the three to a different number. And that's that. We now have a noise detector. It's that simple. So right now, the sensitivity isn't, uh, isn't high enough for it to pick up my voice, but it is loud enough for me to pick up loud sounds like, HELLO! And there you have it. Now I've got other stuff going on in my, in my uh, protobox right now, but uh, that's for other projects. I'll be making uh, more videos as we move along, but this is just one. Next video will be part two of this specific project. We're going to keep the same schematic, but we're going to make just a simple clap-on, clap-off circuit without the LCD. So thanks for watching. If you haven't already checked out the Kickstarter, it's linked below, and uh, I'd sincerely appreciate if you had a look. Have a great day, everyone.